Hey plant gang, we have a plant here that's actually grown in northern gardens as well as southeastern and even some southern gardens. And this is Arum italicum or uh, Italian Arum. It has this histate shaped leaf, which means kind of looks like an arrowhead. And it's a very unique herbaceous plant uh, that the foliage actually arises in the fall and is evergreen through the winter time. And then in the spring, it'll put on a spath and spadix type bloom, maybe like the houseplant peace lily, if you're familiar with that, or jack in the pulpit, if you're familiar with that. And then you're left, uh, after it blooms, it actually puts on a wonderful seed stock um, that's a, up about this top, about this this high. It kind of looks like a cherry bomb pop covered in, uh, covered in seeds. It's a beautiful, uh, typically reddish or orange uh, seed stock. You can plant those seeds if you want to, uh, but sometimes they take up to a year to germinate, so it's kind of the long road. Uh, but another way that you can spread this plant around if you really like it is division in the fall, and that's actually the best time to divide this is in the fall. Uh, it really is a plant that we see primarily growing in the southeast, in particular uh, at the edges of a shade garden, at the edges of a woodland garden, or also incorporated within kind of the center part of the woodland garden. Uh, it's a great plant. Uh, it's unusual in that it brings winter evergreen foliage. Uh, cultivars are varying and broad, uh, but one of the main uh, things that you're going to look for in the cultivars is the different leaf patterns, the modeling on the leaves. And so uh, you might uh, look out uh, and seek out different cultivars that have maybe more silver or different modeling in the leaves um, that can make that cultivar very interesting in your shade garden. So as we look a little bit closer with this plant, uh, it is a plant that is stemless. Uh, it is more of a woodland plant, uh, one that you would see in the shade garden once again. Uh, this is native to Western Europe, hardy from zones five through nine, gets about one to two foot tall. Uh, maybe with a bloom you might reach two foot tall, but maybe I would even say one foot to one and a half feet high and wide. It can be, be divided in the fall. Uh, the bloom has, is kind of a creamy white spath and spadix. Uh, really does, again, prefer uh, partial shade. Really medium moisture requirements. I see it growing, grown quite a bit under uh, large trees, which makes it uh, maybe more adaptable to a variety of places in the shade garden. But really best grown in medium moisture that's consistently moist, uh, likes a rich soil, and really does thrive in those situations. Uh, common name, typically Italian arum. This is arum italicum. A uh, great plant, again, for the home landscape in particular in a shady situation. No serious insects or disease problems. Uh, and one thing you need to know that is the foliage goes dormant in the summer. So this would be a good plant to uh, plant in areas where you would maybe have shade uh, annuals as well uh, that can take up that spot uh, during the summertime. Here is a landscape tip. Best in woodland gardens and shade border areas.